So welcome. So this first episode, I'm just setting up my computer. Um, this is the all that is installed in this machine right now is the software I need for um, video chatting with you guys to actually stream this to YouTube. That is all I have installed. This is a base Mac OS 10.9 Mavericks install. Um, and uh, I just want to go through some things I change here for my own workflow. Now, my workflow is my workflow. It's not necessarily your workflow. You're welcome to use my workflow, but you might have some other stuff figured out by now. And honestly, if you're already an avid computer user, you probably don't need this episode. But I'm really doing this from scratch. We want this to be, um, I want this series to basically teach someone if they have a computer and an internet connection, they're going to know everything they need to know how to make and publish a game from start to finish. We might even do some marketing. Um, everything we do that we can will be free, which means most of the tools that we use will be free. Um, publishing is not free on some platforms. We are going to be setting up accounts on all of them, including iOS and Mac App Store and Android, and, and some of these have fees, the Windows Store. Um, so there are some fees involved. I will warn you if there's a fee involved with what we're gonna do. Um, as I said, this episode is gonna be really basic. I'm just going to be setting up my Mac here for production. Um, so the first thing I do when I'm on a fresh install of Mac OS is I get rid of all this stupid stuff at the bottom that we don't need. So I'm never going to use mail. Ah, die. I'm not going to use contacts. I really don't need a calendar. Notes, yeah, no. Maps, nope. Messages, uh, no. FaceTime, nope. Photo booth, that's fun, but no. iTunes, nope iBooks, nope. App Store, that's in the menu bar. Since the President is, is also in the menu bar. Can't get rid of Cam Twist or Live Media. Flash me a live encoder because that's how I'm actually broadcasting to you right now. These two you won't see on your fresh install of Mac. And Safari probably won't be open. Right now it's open because I have to have YouTube open for streaming. Um, actually, I probably don't have to have that open, but I do. I just am worried about it. So, uh, let's see. What should we do first? First, I'm going to change some preferences around. First of all, We've got this dock thing, and it doesn't go away. And I wouldn't be bothered by that, except for the fact that um, you can't make windows go over it. So first thing I do, right-click the middle of the bar here, choose Turn Hiding On. Yay. Now we get the full use of our screen, and if you need the dock, you just push down, and it comes up. I think that's much nicer. Um, if you have the screen filled up, it, doesn't, uh, it just goes over things. It's nice. So number one, done. Now we're going to go into some options here in System Preferences. So, general, let's see what we got here. Anything I want to change? Show scroll bars automatically. Yeah, that's fine with me. Um, jump to the next page. That's fine with me. Yeah, all this looks pretty good. Recent items. I like to not have recent items. Uh, desktop and screen saver. We're going to change my desktop picture to um, this sweet thing. Um, yeah, this sweet, ugly thing. But, you know, it gets the point across. Um, this was also pre-installed. I, I installed this into my computer. You definitely don't need this background to develop games. But if you want to use it, I don't see why not put it on your background. Um, so, uh, what else do we want? Uh, mission control. This is an important one. Um, so, show dashboard in a space. Uh, right now, if you three-finger swipe right or if you press control plus right or left or something, you'll get to this dashboard thing. This dashboard thing is a holdover from an older generation when it actually kind of made sense as a modal thing. I don't think it makes much sense anymore, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, automatically rearrange spaces, that drives me crazy. Uh, when switching to application, switch to the space, I like that. Group windows by application, yeah. Displays have separate spaces, yeah, that's great too. Um, mission control show uh, yeah all these all these I think are fine although mm, wait maybe these are the new the new things oh yeah we may have to change some things around here oh yeah I'm old school so we are going to have to change some stuff all right so doc that's probably fine security and privacy okay so I actually changed this one already and I should have changed it back but um if you're going to be developing anything, at some point, you're going to have to switch this. By default, it's on Mac App Store and Identify Developers. I guarantee you, you're going to have to switch to Allow From Anywhere at some point. You're, you're a big boy. You're a big boy or girl using your computer. This does mean that you can install accidentally a virus or something on your machine, but it also means that you can install you know useful software like CamTwist. I had to 
I had to go anywhere for Cam Twist. I might have even had to do it for FMLE, but I don't know for sure. Uh, considering it's Adobe, probably not, but, you know, you never know. Um, let's see. Displays. Yeah, that's, we're not messing around with you. Don't, don't want to break the, the thing here. All right, uh, definitely don't want my computer to sleep when it's on a power adapter. Yeah, I know. And uh, it's only sleep by like about 15 minutes on power, power adapter. On battery, that looks pretty good. Um, keyboard, this is an important one for me. Um, use all F1, F2, etc. keys as standard function keys. What this means is instead of doing the little icon that's on them, like like volume up or volume down, it will act like a function one through function 12 key and be useful in programs. Um, you hold function and you can get the little icons. I just like them to actually function as the keys that they're supposed to be as opposed to media keys. Um, ch -ch -ch input sources, text, keyboard, okay, all that looks okay. Oh yeah, um, so we did mission control, but we didn't, uh, I guess, we don't set that up here. That's weird. All right, so I need some keyboard changes because I'm using kind of the old keyboard layout from the old Mac stuff. Um, you don't have to change this if you don't want to, but I'm used to these keys. So um, mission control, um, that's this thing. This I actually like to have on F9. And... Uh, Let's see what else. Application windows. I think I want F10. Show desktop is already F11. Perfect. Show dashboard is F12. Great. Those are looking good. Move left space, move right space, switch to desktop. So now, for some reason, Mac, don't know, understand why, they have this desktop switching thing, but um, you can only check mark them if you already activated them. So we're going to open up um, Mission Control. And we're going to uh, add some desktops. So you go up here and you click this little plus thing. And I'm going to add three more desktops. This is so that um, what I'm going to use these for. Fourth, I'm going to use for just the broadcasting stuff. Desktop one is going to be our catch-all for applications in Unity, and it's going to be the main uh, one we work in. Desktop two is going to be just for mono develop for text editing and stuff. And uh, desktop three will be for my web browser. So... Um, so now we can switch between these spaces. These are like virtual screens. And uh, I'm going to go back and forward on here, and then we can do switch to desktop one through four. I like to check mark these. What this does is it makes it so if you hit control one, two, three, or four, you can immediately zoom to those desktops. Um, you can also get to mission control by three finger swiping up or three finger swiping down. No, I guess not three finger swiping down. I don't know what. Never mind. Um, there's a lot of swiping stuff. I, I, I switch spaces commonly by swiping my fingers on a touchpad. If you don't have a touchpad, you can't do that. If you have a magic mouse, you can. Um, I don't recommend a mag magic mouse because you can't right click and left click at the same time. You kind of can't do that on the touchpad either, but I like the touchpad enough that it doesn't bother me too much. Um, in some 3D programs, you will need a mouse. Uh, I do recommend getting a two-button mouse, even if you're on a Mac, because Mac has been supporting two buttons since OS 8, but they've been acting like it's brand new. I don't know why. They've been doing it for a long time. But they kept shipping things with one button mouse. No idea why. Um, you may hear a lot of ire from me. I I generally dislike all operating systems to a certain extent. Um, I just dislike Mac a lot less than the other, other options right now. Um, I'm someone who will switch in an instant if something better comes out. Um, I just really like my workflow right now on Mac OS. And so that's what I use. Um, and no judgment on the Windows folk. I love Windows. I've used Windows a lot. I still have Windows installed on another partition on this drive. Um, I just don't use it for work very much. I just use it for games now. Um, so, is there anything else in here that's super important that we should change? I can't think of anything offhand. Uh, well, if, it's, if you're on a new computer, you should probably set up a, uh, where is it, in sharing. You should probably name your computer or something. Um, I'm going to go with um, whatever's in there. That's fine. Not what I usually use, but I don't want to confuse this partition with my main partition. Um, so, other things I want to change. So, Finder, right now. Doesn't show my drives on the on there. I want to go to Finder, Preferences. We're going to do show hard disks. And um, ignore these two disks. These are from my other 
my other stuff you'll only see Macintosh HD for the most part. This is my Windows partition and this is my old Macintosh hard drive. I was actually going to unmount these before the show, but I forgot. And I like to put connected servers down here. New Finder Windows shows all my files. That is so dumb. Um, I want to show my home directory. Um, speaking of all my files, we're going to open up a Finder window. And we're going to make this thing less messy and stupid. First of all, all my files. What this does is it just like shows a flat listing of like pretty much everything that you have on your computer. It's really dumb. Um, I'm going to remove it. Um, something that's not in here that I think is really useful. Home folder. I'm going to drag it in here so I can get to my home folder. I like to put that above de desktop documents downloads because these are subfolders of the home folder. Uh, what else do we got going on? So um, I want these devices here, but I also want my main device. Why is that not in there by default? I also th like to have, um, so if you go into a window and you right click up here, or if you just hold click, I think maybe, no, maybe you have to control click. It's control click or right click. Control click is the same as a right click on Mac. It's back from the days when they didn't ship with right click for, I don't know why. Um, so I'm going to make sure that this little link, my, Maximilian's MacBook Pro is, uh, oh, maybe I can't do that one. Can I don't do that one? I can't do that one. Okay, never mind. But I like to have the actual device there so I can get at the root. Um, I don't really want to see tags. Does, can I even... Can I get rid of that? Probably here. View. Preferences. Sidebar. Oh, here we go. Devices. We can click this and we want all the hard disks. There we go. And I'll move that down. Um, don't want the tags. Um, anything else here that I actually want? Sometimes you might want movies, music, pictures, as shortcuts there, so you might want to turn those on. I'm not going to bother here because we're probably not going to use it too much. Um, when performing a search, search this Mac, that's stupid. Search the current folder. Um, so what this does now, if you type in this bar, blah, 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 it searches whatever you're in. So that's much more useful, I think, than the default search the whole computer when you already probably are in a window where you want to find something. Um, if you want to search the whole thing, you don't have, even have to go into this option. You just go blah, 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 and you type, you click this Mac. Done. Speaking of searching, I'm going to install a piece of software from the App Store. No, I'm not, because that requires a... Um, Let's see if this requires an account. I think it does. Oh, maybe not. Let's see. Um, we're going to try and install a free app without an Apple account. Let's see if this works. Uh, what is it called, though? I want Alfred. Alfred is my little kind of sort of replacement for Spotlight. It's the same sort of thing, but it just has a really clean, fast interface for, for doing things. Oh, please let it install. This would be awesome. Yep, didn't think so. Um... We will do that later. So, anything else I want to do? Um, I like the view here. Let's do clean up by, uh, arrange by name. So now if we go in here, it'll actually keep things organized. If you try to drag it, it stays, stays in a single place. I'm going to go, uh, so let's set up uh, initial view stuff. So view range by name, we're going to show view options, we're going to range by name, oh wait, maybe just arrange by name is fine, um, range by none, sort by name, I'm still fuzzy on what the difference is between those, but sometimes if you massage it enough you'll get something you like, and I like to have a color background that's not white, so let's do uh, RGB, 33, 66, 30, ah, 66, 33. That's, hmm, that's not as deep as I was hoping. What do I usually use? Um, 15, 15, and 30? No, that's way too dark. 33, oh, it's probably 33, 66, 66. I'll probably put the blue in there. There we go. That looks pretty good. Yeah, let's stick with that. Um, and uh, I'm going to use this as defaults. And then if you run into a folder that doesn't have the defaults showing up, even though you chose to use as defaults, you just go into show view options. 
You hold Alt and you click Restore to Defaults. There, now, now everything will be consistent. I'll probably have to do that a few more times in different places, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. Um, that about concludes setting this up. I'm going to, actually, I'm going to show you how to, uh, so Safari is, okay, that's another thing we want. We want to have Chrome installed because I don't want to use Safari. So, plus, we're going to search for Google Chrome. I like Chrome, although Google's starting to scare me as a company. It happens. Most of their stuff still works right now. Um, and I'm going to continue using this stuff as long as it does, but, uh, but yeah, it, it, it has been getting a little bit more evil than they used to be. Is that actually going to do anything? It's just making a circle here. This isn't that complex, I just want to download. Come on. Is it because I'm in private mode? Do I have to, like, not be privately browsing? I'm going to refresh this page. I'm going to click, click Download Chrome. I mentioned that there will be mistakes. Sometimes servers will give, give up. Sometimes we'll type the wrong thing in a program. Sometimes, you know, there's a lot of things that can happen. Is it actually going to download this thing? Where, where is it? Where is it now? There it is. Is it downloading? Or is that a lie? It says it's a download, but I don't see it actually moving. Huh. Um... Let's try it again. Click here to retry. There, that looked more promising. It actually did an animation that time. I, that makes me happier. Um, huh. Still not looking very promising here. I'm going to delete both of these. This is weird. And, um, let's try it one more time. What is going on? Can't even get Chrome installed. This is going to be exciting. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just search for Google Chrome one more time. I'm going to go Chrome Browser, I'm going to click Download Chrome, Accept and Install, and there it goes, and it's just not happening, is it? Or is it downloading and I just can't tell? Here, Activity Monitor. This is where you go if you want to find out if things are doing things. Network, do we have anything? I know we got a lot going out. Do we have anything going in? Data received. Let's see, downloads. How do I get to downloads? Downloads. Show downloads. It doesn't even let me see the downloads. Open link and let's copy the link. Where does this actually go to? Google Chrome.dmg. Give it to me. I'm going to create a new window. Maybe because I was in private browsing ahead of time, it was causing some problem. Google Chrome. This is silly. Why are you doing this to me? After installing, which should just automatically happen. What, what's wrong with you? All right, so it... It does look like it's moving on some of these, so maybe I just am killing my up. Maybe my upload is killing myself to the point where I can't actually download things fast. That's gonna be a bummer. Um, all right, well, download Google Chrome and install it, and I'm gonna do that between the episodes, evidently. Oh well. Um, I may have to do the downloads separately for if this is how bad just a browser is downloading. Uh, I imagine I'll be in trouble with. Uh, Unity, so might have to do some of that in the background too. Anyway, um, I'm going to call that a wrap on episode negative one. Later episodes are going to be a lot more exciting, I promise you. Um, episode zero is up next. It's still going to be less exciting because it's a zero. And then episode one, I guarantee you, we will start working on some game stuff. So um, thank you very much, and you guys have a great night.